As you work on the, your McCord talk, you should have already submitted a proposal. This proposal means that you have a basic idea. You know what your subject is. You know a little bit about what you want to say regarding that subject. You have an idea of what your main component of visual design will be, and you have a preliminary title. This, of course, is not the entirety of the project. If it were that simple, people would give presentations all the time. But a full presentation, the talk that I want you to complete, will require a lot more work. And that work starts with the development phase. So step two, development, will center on the worksheet that you have received through Google Drive. That worksheet looks like this. It contains a number of sections that you should complete in order to fine-tune and develop your ideas. You should already have this finished, basic information. If you've not typed that into this section, do so now. If you wish to change some of it from your original topic proposal, you may, but don't change it radically. Remember, whatever you've entered on the topic proposal is what I will be able to see, and what I expect you to present. If you wish to change your topic, then you must inform me of that change. You should have also completed your research section. Research means that you have an idea for what sort of outside resources you wish to use to bolster your speech. So, if you look at my model example, I'm talking about my life through video games, how I played video games growing up. And I wish to talk about how, as I was growing up, video games were developing, from very basic models to the sophisticated games that you see today. In other words, they match my own development, from a very basic model to something more sophisticated and more capable of adult interaction. My research will primarily be websites that tell me about the history of video games, the history of the Atari system, the history of the Nintendo system, the PlayStation, the Sega Genesis. These are all websites that are fairly simple and basic and give me facts, dates, statistics, and so on about these games. I learned a lot about these games that I didn't know as I was doing my research, and that research will help support my talk. But back to the worksheet. Once you've completed those steps, you should begin work on an outline. On your worksheet, you'll see a big blank grid. This is a table. In Google Drive, a table is pretty easy to man manipulate. You can right-click on any section and insert a row or delete a row if you wish. So if you need more rows than this, go ahead and insert them. If you need fewer, delete them. I used fewer rows than this, so I would have deleted some. Make sure to customize it for your own purposes. So the question remains, what do you fill it with? For this video, I will focus on that question. How do you complete your outline? Let me talk about how I completed mine. Here is a blank slate. Of course, I'm not quite sure what I will do for my speech, so I ask myself a very simple question. What do I want to talk about? Well, I know I want to talk about video games, but can I be more specific than that? I really want to talk about my experiences with the Atari 2600 game system. That game system was purchased by my family in the very early 80s, and I played it growing up. But if I'm talking about the Atari 2600 and all those games, I probably want to talk about arcade games. I probably also want to talk about the PlayStation that I played in college, and I want to talk about the Nintendo Entertainment System that I played as well. I want to talk about certain games that really struck me. Games like, of course, Pac-Man, and I want to talk about, oh, Mario Brothers, I'm sure. And I want to talk about, let's see, what else? Tomb Raider, a favorite game of mine. I probably want to talk about Street Fighter 2. Probably want to talk about Asteroids. Probably want to talk about, oh, let's see, Adventure on the old Atari system. So I have a number of different ideas of what I want to talk about. I want to tell about receiving these systems, I want to talk about playing them and their effects on me, but I have to organize this information. That's what an outline is all about. How do I intend to bring this to my audience? Well, the organizations that I can follow could either look at game by game or system by system. 
So I think it makes more sense to just look at system by system. So I've got the 2600, the arcade games, PlayStation, NES, and I should probably talk about the Sega Genesis system as well. So what will my outline be like? Um, I probably want to put these in order. And uh, my first memories are of the arcade system, then the Atari, then I got the NES, then the Sega Genesis, then the PlayStation. So this would be a bit of an order. Of course, I'm giving a talk, which means my first step should be some sort of introduction. And my last step should be some sort of conclusion. So I would tack those on as well. Looks like I'm doing pretty well. And now I'm kind of thinking about these ideas to myself. Talk about arcade games, and then getting the Atari 2600, getting the NES later, playing fighting games on the Sega Genesis, PlayStation in college, and then conclude. As I think about it, there's one step remaining seeing the Pong system for the very first time. So I probably want to include that as well. My outline provides a basic structure of my speech. And I go from different game system to different game system talking about my life all the way through. That seems to work for my particular topic. But it may not work for yours, of course, because your topic is different from mine. Let's say you're doing a simple process, a how-to kind of talk, and your different sections of the outline will be the introduction, then step one, two, three, four, five, all the way to step X, whatever the last one is, and then conclusion. So that makes sense. What if you are saying, I want to talk about how this athlete is the greatest athlete of all time? Somebody wrote GOAT in their proposals, which I found cute. Greatest of all time. Athlete. Then what would your outline be? Probably reasons why, right? So I would start with an introduction. Now I'll give reason number one, reason number two, reason number three, reason X, however many you're going to have, and then the conclusion. Let's say I am hmm, giving a compare contrast sort of speech compare contrast. Start with my introduction. Then I would probably talk about subject one with quality A. Subject number one, quality B. Do some copying and pasting. Probably here, subject number two. So I could do this and then conclude. Now, what are quality A, quality B, quality C? Well, it depends upon what your subject is. Let's say I'm comparing two athletes. Um, let's say that I'm talking about two um, baseball players. Then I could talk about my first baseball player. That would be subject one and three different qualities of that baseball player. Maybe statistical success, um, popularity, longevity, and then here A would once again be subject two with statistical su success, longevity, and so on. This is one way to organize compare contrast. Another way to organize compare contrast would be to take the same information and rearrange it. So I could do this. <laughs> so 
So I talk about quality A with subject 1 and subject 2, quality B with subject 1, subject 2, quality C with subject 1, subject 2. This is a different organizational structure. At this point, you should be realizing that your topic out will develop your outline. So you must think about this question. What do you want to talk about? And then maybe you could even make a list. So if you're talking about an, uh, an athlete, you could say, I want to talk about the st statistics. I want to talk about popularity. I want to talk about important games. I want to talk about impact on the community. And then you could think about how those different subjects that you wish to talk about should be organized in an outline. Will it be some sort of chronological order? Will it be some kind of compare-contrast order? Will it be simply a listing of reasons? Mine is something of a chronological order. Each of these has to do with my life. Early years. Early years. Elementary school. Junior high. High school. College. So each system takes place at a different time in my life. Your outline should develop from your topic. So spend some time asking yourself the question, what do I want to talk about? Make a list of all the different subjects that you wish to speak about, and then think about how you would arrange them. When you work with the table, you should see something like this. First is the section the title of each section. And when you take a look at my visual presentation, you'll see that I have titles for each section as I move through them. Then a little description of what I will talk about. Then the audiovisual support. So think about slides. If you have slides in a Google presentation, a PowerPoint, or a Prezi presentation, you would describe them here. And they could be images, could be text. It could be something that you will do in live demonstration in class. So. You list the section, for instance, the arcade years here for me. I discuss my fascination with arcades in the late 70s, when I'm a very young child. And here, I will give the title for the arcade year section, the Asteroids video, the Space Invaders video, and the Pac-Man video. These are the four slides that I will use to support my talk in this section. Then for Pong, I will discuss my first time seeing Pong and its impact on gaming. I give the title and the Pong video. So this is a complete description of all the different slides, the different sections, and what I will do in each. It's a map. And this map will be essential when I go to my next step, which will be writing a script. So start with the question, what do I want to talk about? List everything you wish to talk about, and that could include research, of course, as well. And then arrange them in order. Take those sections into your worksheet. Give them titles. Don't forget your introduction and your conclusion. Describe what you will do in each section, and then list all the different slides or visual aid components that you will include for each section. And remember that in a cell of a table, you can bullet or number if you wish. This should take some time. But once you're finished, if you do it slowly and completely, you will have a map of your presentation. And you can go to the next step in fine-tuning it. Take this blank table in your worksheet and manipulate it to make it as big or as little as you need to. And then type in the information. Once you've finished that, you should be well on your way to understanding how you will spend all of your time during the talk. Don't forget to ask questions on the discussion boards. You'll receive answers, helpful guidance, and success.